Hello guys and welcome back to Ninja Select TV. On today's episode, we'll be talking about top Nigerian celebrities who are making money illegally. On the 10th position, we have Adi herself. Adeja Mola Adewale Rukoya is a content creator, comedian, social media influencer, and entrepreneur. The Nigerian social media personality Ade herself was born on the 22nd of March in the year 2000 in Lagos State. She was born to Yoruba bred parents. The multi kitted Nigerian personality had a growing up in the cities of Lagos, where she had her career pursuit. Ade herself is 24 years old and is also a student still studying in the southwestern part of Nigeria. Ade herself started her comedy career in 2018 when she started creating comedy related content which often featured her parents Mr. and Mrs. Ajewale. On the 17th of July 2020, Hade herself was captured close by four others for a named web-related extortion, internet-related fraud by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission EFCC. She was charged to court on a one tally charge which included ownership of false reports for which she pleaded not guilty. Ade herself was later quickly billed a few months after her arrest and Momfa, a web-based media character who was captured for nearly a similar cause, visited her. A video of them was posted online which circulated around the web. We also have Panky Roy, Oliver Unwagbo, also known as Panky Roy. Panky Roy, who is originally from Anambra State, in Nigeria, was born on the 22nd of January. He grew up in the western part of Nigeria, particularly Suru Lere, Lagos. Panky Roy became an internet sensation after featuring in a series of comedy skits alongside his colleagues Sidney Toka, Nasty Black, Okidi Fit, Z Fancy, Chris Clown, and others. Panky Roy started acting at an early age but became a known figure after being involved in some of the skits shot by his colleagues. You cannot mention the team made of young Nigerian comedians and include Panky Roy. In recent years, he's been doing extremely well, marking his name among one of the most loved young creative comedians in Nigeria. The comedian was arrested on Wednesday, April 21, 2021, in Lekki, Lagos, following an intelligence report received by the commission. Panky Roy is alleged to have been involved in a Bitcoin scam, an illicit act he said he started after falling into depression. His funny excuse for scamming people is the supposed depression. Upon his arrest, a Mercedes-Benz AMG DLU worth 36 million naira was recovered from him. He was operating as a vendor that redeemed Bitcoin on site. The agency claimed that he used the site to dupe unsuspecting victims. Next on the list is the General Sunday Joshua Martins. The General is a fast-rising Nigerian comedian and actor and social media influencer who is especially popular on social media. He rose to fame doing short skits on Instagram and YouTube which went viral and made the general a household name. He was born on the 15th of March 1999. The general originally hails from Owan East in Edo State of Nigeria. He was born and spent most of his early days in Portacot City of River State, Nigeria. The general had his basic primary and secondary education in the city of Portacot, where he grew up and had his tertiary education in the University of Benin, Edo State. The general was arrested by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, on the 12th of January 2022 for allegedly being involved in drugs and detained in their custody for a week. According to NDLEA, drug exhibits including cannabis, sativa, tramadol 1225 MT, and some paraphernalia for drug use were discovered at his residence. He was convicted at the Federal High Court by Justice Daniel Osiago. The judge confirmed that only a little amount was found, hence he was cautioned and not sentenced. After release, the general cleared the air by accepting that although tramadol and cannabis were found at his residence, he is not into drug trafficking aside from comedy. The drug scandal was met by the public, fans, and other celebrities with a bad reaction. We also have Zlatan. Zlatan Ibila is a singer, dance choreographer, music producer, and entrepreneur. He was born on the 19th of December 1994 in Ilorin Kwara State, located in the Midwest region of Nigeria. His state of origin is Ikiti State, which is in the western part of the country. Initially, his dream was to become a footballer. Then Zlatan in his name is because his style of play on the pitch was compared to the Swedish football legend Zlatan Ibrahimovic. 
it might not be a football star but he is now known especially in nigeria for his unique style of music and he has gained several fans he is controversial as his songs seem to glorify fraud and yahoo activities in 2019 the economic and financial crimes commission efcc Lagos zonal office arrested him alongside naramali in connection with an alleged case of internet fraud credit card fraud and money laundering intelligence reports have also linked them to cybercrime offenses However, it was released after four days. Next on the list is Orezi. Orezi, whose real name is St. Jeanette Allen, was born on the 28th of March 1986. He's a Nigerian singer born and raised in Owolobo, Isoko Delta State. That gang boy, as he is affectionately known, attended Command Secondary School in Abakaliki and graduated from the University of Lake. In 2009, he launched his musical debut. He launched his debut hit, Ano Fit Life, which became the theme song for Nigeria's most popular radio station, Radio Continental. Later, he hosted a performance arranged by the radio station that was named after the song. In 2010, he released another track titled High BP, which was accompanied by an official music video authorized by MTV Base. In 2021, he was rumored to have been involved in a drug-related offense and was reported to have been arrested in Dubai. However, this story was debunked as untrue by the singer and his team who stated that the story was fabricated to tarnish his image. We also have Naira Mali. Aziz Fashola, known professionally as Naramali, is a Nigerian singer and songwriter. He is known as the president of his controversial fan base, Malians. He was born on the 10th of May 1991 in Agege, Lagos State. He had been in the music industry for quite a while before he achieved fame in 2017. Naramali entered into the spotlight of Nigerian music with a hit single, It's a Go, which featured already established stars like Olamide Bado, Files, Simi, Slim Case, and Lil Kesh in the remix of the song. As this fashion, known as Naramali, has been said to have portrayed this fifth house in Lekki in July 2020. So that is to say that Malian Music Boss currently has five houses across Lagos State. He has received criticism for his songs, which people say glorify fraud. The hit singer has been involved in an ongoing case with the EFCC and he has been charged with 11 counts on conspiracy and credit card fraud. Next on the list is TDQ. Sadiq Abubakar Yusuf, born on the 6th of May 1985, properly known by his stage name TDQ, is a Nigerian ingenious rapper, singer and songwriter best known for his single Nowa Isoke, featuring Whiskey and Mastercrafts. Sadiq Abubakar Yusuf is a native of Ilorin Kwara State, Nigeria, but was born in Orile, a suburb of Lagos State. Upon moving back to Lagos State from Ilorin, where he had completed his secondary school education, he proceeded to further his education at Lagos State University, where he graduated with a BSc in Economics. CDQ was arrested by the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency for allegedly violating the drug law. Men of the NDLEA visited the Lekki residence following an intelligence report made available to the agency. The agency had said they found some substance known as loud, the cannabis very in the rapper's house. If you have been enjoying this video so far, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you have not. We post entertaining content like this every day. Going further, we have Abakari. Abakari was born on March 17, 1975. He was a deputy commissioner of police and a member of the Inspector General of Police Intelligence Response Team in the Nigerian Police Force Headquarters in Abuja. Kerry served at Lagos State Police Command as the officer in charge of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. He graduated as a Cadet Assistant Superintendent of Police, ASP. He was later deployed as Divisional Crime Officer, DCO, in Luman Adamawa State and served as Unit Commander, 14 PMF Yola. Kerry also led the arrest of the deadly Offa Bank robbers that invaded Offa Town, Fire State and robbed five commercial banks. The gang also murdered a lot of innocent Nigerians. He joined Police Academy Wujo Kano State in 2000 and became famous after successfully apprehending popular kidnapped Kim Pins, Evans and Wadume, amongst others. 
The suspended DCP Abakari, who has now been arrested and handed over to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, on the 14th of February after he was declared wanted by the agency. Kari was declared wanted by NDLEA for being a member of the drug cartel that operates Brazil, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Blizzard Drug Pipeline. He was arrested along with three other members of his IRT team for trying to pull a 25 kg cocaine deal. He is still in custody and is battling multiple charges from Ford for being involved with Arch Poppy and also drug baron allegations. Next on the list is the famous Hush Poppy. Our list will not be complete without including Hush Poppy. Ramon Olorunwa Abbas, commonly known as Hush Poppy, was born on the 11th of October 1982. The 38-year-old Nigerian big boy was born and raised in Lagos State, Nigeria. He had a secondary school education at Government College in Gorodu, Lagos State. Coming from a humble beginning, reports have it that Hush Poppy used to sell second-hand clothes in Lagos before he relocated to Malaysia. Popular Instagram celebrity Hush Puppy is known for his flamboyant and luxurious lifestyle. His lifestyle has been said to influence several African youths who aspire to live affluent lives like him. Prior to his arrest by the FBI, Hush Puppy's source of wealth was not clearly known. Hush Puppy lives an extravagant lifestyle, always flaunting his designer clothes, shoes, and cars on Instagram. He enjoys wearing designer brands like DNG, Fendi, Nike, Yoshi, etc. He has often accused some celebrities of wearing fake clothes, which has caused feuds between him and these celebrities. He was the subject to the 2017 song Teleperson by Nigerian singer Timaya, featuring Olamide and Fino, with whom he had a long running feud. This song had lyrics carefully directed at Hush Puppy, accusing him of being a fraudster and a swindler. After a while in Malaysia, he moved to Dubai and lived there until the time of his arrest. Hush Puppy's story suddenly changed after he relocated to Malaysia. Since then, they have speculations about how he moved from rags to riches in such a short time. Some have said he has rich friends. However, Hush Puppy said he was into real estate investment. His true source of wealth was revealed when he was arrested by Interpol in Dubai for alleged cybercrime in June 2020. Following his extradition into the United States, Hush Puppy is facing criminal charges for conspiracy to launder money obtained from business email, compromise frauds, and other scams, including schemes that defrauded a U.S. law firm of about $40 million, illegally transferred $14.7 million from a foreign financial institution, and targeted to steal $124 million from an English football club. According to the FBI, Hush Puppy, along with the others, defrauded a client of a New York-based law firm out of approximately $922,857 in October 2019. On the day of his arrest in Dubai, detectives reportedly found more than 150 million dirhams, about $40 million in cash, 13 luxury cars worth $25 million, dirhams, which is approximately $7 million, 21 laptops, 47 smartphones, 15 memory storage devices, 5 external hard drives and emails of potential victims alongside suitcases full of cash. He pleaded guilty and was eventually sentenced to 11 years in prison. Next on the list is Obi Kubana. Obinna Iyegu, popularly known as Obi Kubana, is a Nigerian businessman, entertainer, entrepreneur, philanthropist and a show killer. He is the chairman and owner of the popular Kibana Group. Obi Kubana was born on the 12th of April 1975. Obi Iyegu, best known as Obi Kubana, is from Oba, a community in the Mili South local government area in Anambra State, Nigeria. Obi Kubana attended Central Primary School where he obtained his first school living certificate. He proceeded to Dennis Memorial Grammar School located in Onisha, where he obtained his West African Senior School Certificate. Why? In 1998, after completing his primary and secondary school education, Obi Kubana proceeded to the University of Nigeria where he obtained a degree in political science from the University of Nigeria. In 2006, Obi Kubana started his first club, Ibiza Club, in Abuja, seeking to satisfy fun seekers and nightlife lovers. Following the remarkable progress we made in Ibiza Club, he established the Kubana Group. A hospitality club that provides all-round entertainment satisfaction 
in 2009. In 2008, Obi Kubana got married to his beautiful wife, Ebele Yegbu, who is a lawyer by profession, and the union is blessed with four sons. She calls herself the mother of boys. Obi Kubana is married to Ebele Yegbu, who is the founder and owner of the Kiek Foundation, a non governmental organization established with the aim of improving the lives of the less privileged children in our society through quality education, health care, nutrition, and child rights governance. Obi Kubana gained the attention of social media space and the entire country during his mother's burial. The burial of Obi Kubana's mother was not only lavish but extremely lavish. It sent all the wrong signals at the time and people started to question the source of his money. In November 2021, the popular socialite and businessman was interrogated by the officials of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission over alleged money laundering. Though allegations against the socialites were sketchy as of press time, a source disclosed that his case bothered on alleged money laundering and tax fraud. Drop your comments below and let us know what you think about this video. Mention other celebrities you know of whose source of income is suspicious. Don't forget to like this video and turn on post notifications to the channel in order to get notified whenever we post a new video. Also, kindly subscribe to the channel for more entertaining videos like this one. And thank you for watching.